Hi everyone. So in the earlier class we have learned about uh, quantity, physical quantity and the different organization of physical quantities which are fundamental physical quantities, derived physical quantities and supplementary physical quantities and even we discussed about set of fundamental physical quantities and also different organization of systems of units like FPS, CGS, MKS and SI system of international units. So let us try to learn one more concept which is called unit. So what do you mean by unit actually? So for example, if I want to find out the length of this piece of chalk, I will take a scale and I measure it, 15 centimeter scale and I just measure it and I say approximately 8 centimeters or 7 centimeters. So let us write that 7 centimeters, the length of that piece of chalk is 7 centimeters. Okay. If I write this 7 centimeter like this, this is a called as physical quantity. So this is nothing but physical quantity is nothing but length, let us say L is equal to 7 centimeter. This length is a physical quantity, so let me denote it by capital P and this 7 is nothing but a, a numerical value, let us denote it by N and this centimeter is called unit. So let me represent this with a capital U. So every physical quantity will be expressed in terms of numerical quantity followed by a unit, right. So let us discuss what is unit later on, first let us understand what is unit, okay. So in the same manner let us find out the weight of any object, any, any object. Let us say this is a some 30 grams, so the mass, so M is equal to, let me write that M is equal to some 20 grams, okay. Here also this mass is a physical quantity is equal to this 20 is a numerical value and this gram is a, this is nothing but a unit. So here the physical quantity is expressed in terms of a numerical value followed by a unit. So let us check what is this unit. So what you need to do in the first activity, I want to find out the length of this piece of chalk. So I have taken this piece of chalk and I will take a scale, let us consider this as a scale and I compare this piece of chalk by putting just uh, close to the scale. Then I find out so how many times this physical quantity is existing in that particular scale and then I will find out that value that is called unit. So simply the unit is nothing but a, unit is nothing but a standard, standard measure of physical quantity. So a standard measure is nothing but the unit. So here I have taken the centimeter as a standard. So generally the centimeter is a CGS unit and here gram is also CGS unit. For example, if I find out this length of this desk, then for example if I get L is equal to some 5 meters or some x 2 meters or 3 meters. Let us find the length of this room, let it be 5 meters. Then this length L is equal to the physical quantity and this 5 is the number and this meter is the standard measure of that particular length. So here I have used centimeter as a standard measure and here I am using meter as the standard measure. So this standard measure is called as unit, not only for length and uh, even masses gram is taken. For example, if I want to find out some more heavy objects, I will measure it in kg. Generally whenever you go to vegetable market, we ask the vegetable vendor to give 1 kg of potatoes, let us say 1 kg of potatoes. 1 kg of potato means how does he measure? Simply he will put that 1 kg weight in the left side of the term balance and he will put the potatoes on the right side of the pan. So he will see that both are balanced and then he will say that these are 1 kg of potatoes. So how, what is that? So that is nothing but measurement. So let us discuss what is measurement and let me explain what is measurement here. Measurement. So what do you mean measurement? This activity, completely that activity is nothing but measurement. What did he do? Just he has taken a standard measure, let us say 1 kg weight, he put it in the left side of the pan and he has taken some vegetables, vegetables, he has taken some vegetables and means potatoes, he put it in the right pan and then he weighed it 
and he made it equal then he said that it is are equal to 1 kg of potatoes so in this activity he has done what he what he has done is measurement so measurement is nothing but comparing the unknown quantities with the known quantity so here the known quantity is the 1 kg weight and the unknown quantity is the potatoes so he just gathered he piled up potatoes in the right side pack and he made it equal until the balance is equal then he said that this is compared with this one so that it is 1 kg of potatoes so that is called the measurement so measurement definition is nothing but the process of comparison so comparison of comparison of physical quantity with the standard standard measure so here the standard measure is 1 kg weight and the comparison of that potatoes has taken place that's why it is called that 1 kg of potatoes for example if i want to find out the length of this table so i'll take a standard measure let us consider that this is a standard measure then step 1 i have chosen that standard measure then i have to find out how many times this standard measure is existing in this length so i'll just find out see 1 and 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 exactly this standard measure is existing nearly 10 times on the length of this table so what do i say this standard measure is having is nearly of 10 times of that length one. This, this length is 10 times of the standard measure so simply what is a let us consider the standard measure name is some n okay so this length of the table is equal to some standard measure number numerical values are n and some n so in my system that n is the standard measure so this is the steps of measuring so first step i have taken i have taken the standard measure and then second step i have counted how many times this standard measure is existing in the unknown physical quantity so here unknown physical quantity is the length of the table and i have taken this scale standard measure is a unit and this unit is existing nearly 10 times that's why the measure of that length of the table is equal to 10 into some unit let us say so this is for some example okay so let me take one more example in that potatoes example what happened you know so he has taken that 1 kg weight as a standard measure and he has piled up some potatoes in the right pan and he made it equal the balance then he said that 1 kg is that one. so here the standard measure is 1 kg weight and then he just uh, check how many potatoes will weigh which is equal to 1 kg of weight then that is called measurement so it is nothing but so comparison of physical quantity with the standard measure so that happens in length so simply i told you length is equal to 7 centimeters means p is equal to mu like that so let us discuss in depth of this measurement and units so i have told you that physics physical quantity is uh, denoted by a numerical value followed by a unit so this physical quantity does not change with the choice of unit here i have taken 7 centimeters and you have taken the meters so in one measurement i have taken centimeter as a standard measure and in another measurement i have taken the meter as a standard measure so let us check uh, let us take any object of 1.5 meters of length so here l is equal to 1.5 meters i'll take it if you just convert this 1.5 meters into centimeters you will be getting 150 centimeters so generally the students will be having the misconception that 1.5 meters is smaller than 150 centimeters because just just compare only the number and then they decide that it is a bigger physical quantity but actually 1.5 meters is equal to 150 centimeters but you can get it out here so 1.5 is here and 150 is there but look at the centimeter also and look at the meter also so meter and centimeter what is the comparison actually so even this meter and centimeter are also values don't take that units as a name unit is not only a name and it is nothing but a value also so values can be multiplied so 5 into 4 can be multiplied can be added so in the same way 5 centimeter into centimeter we can multiply and write centimeter whole square or square centimeters meter into meter we can multiply and we can write meters they also follow the normal algebraic operations let us say me square m square by m 
then the value will be m only like numbers only. So, these units will follow the normal algebraic operations. So, here we should not take m and uh, meter and centimeter as, as a unit, they are also values. So, here what do you understand from this? So, the physical quantity does not change, its value does not change if you take the centimeter and meters. For example, if I just measure this length of this table I have got 1.5 meters. So, if I take the centimeters with the length of the table will increase? No, nothing, just is constant. So, if I take a scale which is in centimeters, if I take a scale which is in meters, this length of the table will not change. So, the choice of unit which I am taking will not change the value of this physical quantity. And I will explain again. So, if I take a scale which is in centimeters and I measure the length of this table and if I take another scale which is in meters and I measure the length of this table, the length of the table will be constant only, but whatever the values you are getting by the first scale and second scale will be 1.5 meters and 150 centimeters, but both will be equal only. So, what do you understand from this? So, physical quantity will be constant by taking different sets of units means n u the numerical value and u is equal to constant means what is the meaning of that. So, n 1 u 1 should be equal to n 2 u 2 that is the meaning of that n 1 by n 2 should be equal to u 2 by u 1 or else we can write a, a simple statement that numerical value is inversely proportional to a choice of unit that is the reason. So, meter is a bigger unit compared to centimeters. So, here numerical value is 1.5 only, but when I take it in centimeters convert it to centimeters 1.5 has become 150. So, 150 is great side great greater than 1.5 nearly 100 times that is the reason that unit is becoming 100 times less becoming by 100. So, 100th part of this meter is centimeter only. So, that is the reason we can say that numerical value is inversely proportional to choice of unit based on this some exercises are there in your book we will try to solve those. So, let me repeat the concept once again. So, in this concept we are going to learn about unit, a unit is nothing but the standard measure of a physical quantity and uh, a physical quantity will be expressed in terms of a numerical value followed by a unit. This units can be taken of your choice centimeter, meters for length, grams and kilograms for different things and uh, masses. Next uh, P is equal to N u and we come to know one conclusion that this physical quantity does not change by the choice of your unit. Even it is 1.5 meters or 150 centimeters both the values are equal. Only the thing is numerical value is increasing means the unit should be decreasing. That is the reason centimeter is a smaller unit that is a numerical value should be bigger one. Meter is a bigger unit compared to centimeter that is the reason the numerical value should be 1.5 here compared to 150, 1.5 is a smaller. From this we can conclude that n u is equal to constant and n 1 u 1 is equal to n 2 u 2. So, from that n 1 by n 2 is equal to u 2 by u 1 and n is simply inversely proportional to choice of unit. The numerical value of a physical quantity is inversely proportional to choice of unit. And what are the qualities of this unit? So, this unit should have some properties. So, then only we call it as a standard, whenever we say standard, see earlier to 1874 we used a FES system in that foot is there to measure the length. So, that foot is not the standard one, that is the reason they have changed it to CJ system then later MKS then we have gone to SI system of units. So, the unit should be standard and it should, it should have some characteristics, so, the unit should be a unit, a unit should be. A unit should be having these characteristics. First one is C R I E. So, always I will try to give the mnemonics, please try to remember. It is nothing but a simple cry like that you remember. So, C for consistent. I will explain the quality later. So, consistent, first quality of that unit is consistent, and the second quality of the unit is reproducible. A unit should be reproducible. Next, the third quality of the unit should be invariable. Next, fourth one easily available. 
easily available. So, let me explain what do you mean by consistency. So, I have taken a standard unit here, let us take 1 meter as a standard unit. Whenever you go to a cloth store, a person, a merchant, a cloth merchant will take a stick, uh, 1 meter stick and he will be measuring the cloth. So, as many times he is measuring, the many times the value should be consistent, means it should not be changing. If a person is using a standard unit for number of times, the even n number of times he is using, the value of that particular physical quantity should be constant, then only that unit should be the consistent. Uh, for temperature changes, pressure changes, the unit should not be changing. This external factors should not influence the value of that unit, that is why it is called a consistent. And the reproducible, it can be reproducible. Actually, 1 kg means it is nothing but a, a cylinder which is made up of platinum iridium material and which is kept in the Paris lab, system of international units lab. But everybody is not using that uh, 1 kg cylinder no, to measure 1 kg of uh, weight of any other substances. So, it should be reproducible. So, we are reproducing it and we are using it. The next invariable, invariable even any other person for example, I have measured the cloth of 1 meter, if I ask another person to measure with the same standard measure, I sh that should be having the same physical quantity. So, person to person that physical quantity value should not be changing if you use a standard measure that is invariability. Then easily available, yes if you take it 1 meter wherever you go, the 1 meter stick is available in the cloth stores and different uh, electric shops to measure the wires in different different shops even weight also. If you go to any shop, any grocery shop or vegetable and uh, vegetable market, the 1 kg weight is available. That is a replica. So, it can be easily available like that uh, seconds, time, time is available. So, second is a standard measure. So, everywhere it is available for accuracy. So, easily available case. So, the standard characteristics, the unit ca characteristics of the unit will be first one is consistent reproducible and invariable and easily available, then only we call that unit as a standard measure. Okay? So, unit is nothing but standard measure and the unit is not a name, it is also a value, we can multiply like this and we can divide like this and we can operate algebraic operations like that. So, this is the information about units.